Alright. Cashityviews.net. I've been going for a little second. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say rest in peace to my father, Vincent Liddell Mason. He passed away December 8th, so things been going kind of slow. Speeding back up right now, so I'm trying to do more stuff. Get out, take pictures, do video. Um, that's really it, you know, what it is, CapturedUse.net, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, 783-893, Ike Mason, hit my boy Jamora, Mikey, Twan, Sarah, Say What, Say Rod, all of us, we all out here, Cap City Views, Capital City Interviews. Uh, first interview since I did Des Arnaz, that's gonna be on the next update in the next couple days, so, y'all know the itinerary and how shit go, the artists always introduce themselves, so with that being said, tell me who you are. What's good, man, it's E. Little. Uh, shit, man. Shout out. Uh, oh yeah, man. Shout out to everybody in the CL doing their thing. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to my niggas in Cleveland, TO. I yo the Fight Theta Fraternity, my frat, you know how we do. Uh, yeah, but other than that, man, shout out to everybody here doing their thing. Big ups. That's it. Alright, you um got any contact info? What's the quickest way to get you? Twitter? Yeah, yeah. Facebook? Hit me up on uh on Twitter at E Little underscore P O W pal. Uh Instagram. Uh, Malcolm Little, uh, no Facebook, Eric Little, same shit. Okay, so how long you been doing your thing as far as spitting, rapping, all that? Shit, I mean, I've been writing probably since I was maybe seven or eight, but I ain't really, you know, take it to the next level probably until like five or six years ago, like when I got in depth as far as the writing, and it just kind of progressed from there, so. So what material you have out right now? I got a song called Where They Do That, uh, shot by Cap City Views. I, I shot that shit, you know what I mean? I mean, we shot it on the fly. You know what I mean? I, I did the song probably like a year ago. You know what I mean? Basically just some bullshit, you know, clowning around. Uh, I got a new mixtape about to drop. It's called Malcolm Little. Uh, that's basically just some controversial shit. You know what I mean? Malcolm X, real name Malcolm Little. You know what I mean? So. The subject matter is pushing the envelope a little bit. Uh, that'll probably be out here sometime in the spring. Okay. Uh, my first mixtape, uh, highly recommend it. You can get that on thatpiff.com. Yeah, that's it though right now. You know what I'm, saying? I'm still grinding. Working full time job and go to school, so you know. I remember you was talking about um, from when we did uh, Where They Do That, the video. Y'all check that video out on YouTube. Just Where They Do That. Link might be right here. But um, good riddance. Now, what was that about? Is that dropping? Is that still a? Yeah, I, I'm uh, that mixtape is gonna be like probably the beginning of the uh, summer. Mm -hmm. Uh, the name Good Riddance actually, it's a little you know a story behind it because Good Riddance you know it, it means Good Riddance you know like as the um, self-explanatory example, and then um, it's Good Riddance. Right. Then it's like. Good riddance, like I'm done with y'all niggas, you know what I mean? I'm out, you know what I mean? That type right. of way, so. Yeah, but, you know, that's just the title I came up with because I felt like I might just start saying that to niggas, man. Fuck you, niggas. <laughs> Good riddance, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, you know. So, before you do your thing, it's um, prior to, like, writing something. Like, what do you go through? What do you have to get yourself ready as far as doing what? Uh, the, the thought process, at, as far as, as an artist, like, I mean, you hear a lot of shit out now that's kind of throw your stacks in the air, uh, bitch's ass got to shake. To me, that takes probably 12 seconds to write. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like everything to me stems from em emotion, uh, experiences, you know what I mean? So I draw from like stuff I see around me, you know what I mean? But as far as the writing process goes, I have my phone on me. And like, say I'll be, you know, at the park or whatever, and I see a kid walking by himself with his head down in the book bag, I look at him and then just start writing on my phone. Or like, I'll be in Walmart and just start writing. You know what I mean? I'm not one of them cats that did, did like plans, a session on the like, hey, bro, we're gonna be in the lab tomorrow from eight to 10 and we're gonna write. To me, that's not real music, you know what I mean? Real music is when you can get in depth. Any situation you're in, you can be in the hospital, come up with a quick bar to, you know what I'm saying? So. That's really what it, the, the thought process is at. You got your, uh, the first video came out, like right. I, you just talked about um, where to do that at. Now, what's your next um, video plan? Uh, we, I got a bunch of tracks that I'm trying to uh, shoot videos for, but I kind of want to, I want to do something different. You know what I mean? Like we talked about the, the 
concept but um the split screen up and down video uh i'm a type of cat that, that i like to push the envelope you know what i mean do shit that, that the other people don't do you know what i mean but i got a couple songs in mind right now uh I'm probably gonna cut that down and make like one or two here in the next uh week or so advice that you'll give to Columbus artists? Damn. Don't do music. Nah, I'm... <laughs> nah, but <laughs> you really know, any artist, you know uh, what I mean? You know what I'm saying? That's local first, that's trying to get to the next level, baby. The main thing I say is, if you're doing music just to get a check, like anything else, you know what I mean, or to follow the, the, the next trend, you might as well stop now. Like, if... if if you're not doing it, you know, because you like music, because you love music, or you like the way it sounds, you know, like go with each other, you like the meanings in the songs, don't do it. Because it's gonna get bored real fast. Then you're gonna get mad because you're not on top. Then you're gonna get mad because ain't nobody listening to your music and then all that shit. You're gonna just be a emotional ass rapper. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, just do it from a uh, place of realness, you know what I'm saying? Like if you really love music, then do it. If you're doing it, you know what I mean, to get bread, then do that too. But make sure you know that and the fans know that, or else it's gonna be a, a long road. What's your outlook on the um, music industry as a whole? It's just a lot of, you know, I mean, we was born in the 80s. You know what I mean, grew up on, on, on uh, Jay, Nas, DMX, you know what I mean? Even though living was hot for me, I ain't for me, but you know what I mean? <laughs> but you know, it, now I feel like music is based on uh, just a bunch of bullshit, like no substance. You know what I mean? You're to train to train. Um, with the music, your main goal, I mean, besides, of course, getting signed, you know what I'm saying, or, you know, being a very well known artist. What's up? That you have. I just want to make music, man, and my mom to my kids, you know what I mean? Like, it. I, I, I want to be able to look at my music in 25 years and Long look Jackie. back and still play it. Right. You know what I mean? Like, if you look at, <coughs> like, a few big songs, actually all of the songs, you know what I mean? Jay's tracks. You can listen to a song that came out 12 years ago and play it in the club right now. artist that makes a song, a Laffy Taffy track like D4L and shit, and then you, and then in six months, there's not a market for that, you know what I mean? I think that's where music comes from, a spot of realness. I just want to make real music, you know, and eventually progress with it. If I get signed, I do. If I don't, I don't. I'm still going to make music regardless, because that's just what I like to do. It's a hobby. It's fun. It leaves stress. It makes people feel good. It makes me feel good. I'm nice. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to see in a minute too. That's the little main thing I try to push is longevity, just like you were saying, like Laffy Taffy right. and um, other shit. Like, you know, so many of the beastly artists say, like Nas, Jay would talk about it, like the, uh, the auto tune shit, you know what I'm saying? The, um, my friend did the party song, just like Nas says, you know, spit a sentence in the game will get rid of y'all. Like Kanye right. talked about another, what do he say, God Keep damn, party too much. <laughs> right, get off that. I mean, just try to, like he just said, Tupac. Nah, play a song from back then, Brave Hearts, you know what I'm saying? Shit that came out when we was in elementary, you know what I'm saying? Comes out in the club, they turn it on, you still like everybody, you know, even the little teenagers right. act like they know, you know what I'm saying? Right. And they kind of do, I guess, because they yeah. hear it in there. But, you know the chorus or something. Yeah, no but bar, they don't really you know, know it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even that old. When Biggie was out and Tupac was really doing their things, I was what? I was like 11? Yeah, I was, when I was 8, 10, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But being this young, you got to go back and see what, you know, how shit really started, started to slap. Young ass kids, you need to chill out. <laughs> but um, you gonna show us what you can do? Yeah, I I spit a little something. Too. Uh, Cap City View. Yeah. Look, I rap Hannibal style, cage face, cause I be chewing niggas while you saying grace. Amen to that. Lord forgive me for my sins, cause my thoughts grow dark when I'm expressing through my pen. Built up emotion, I drive and park hoping. 
that I can set records, home runs without doping, but the cush smell good and I don't even like smoking. My lifestyle got me dressed up, tuxedo. What's in the gold mag and I'm a dick? My metaphor sick, on the low, you thinking, damn, he the shit. Copycat my style, now you thinking you can spit. But practice makes perfect. And I was born perfect, so I ain't practice nothing and your style's still worthless. I'm a good written nigga, flow overdoser. I see the point in rapping, so my style, roller coaster. 07 had the mindset to take over, but fell into the trap of a bitch. And ever since, I've been slacking like skinny jeans on a chick, you jerk. I go fucking berserk when I spit, break my lines down, that's the real meaning of dopeness. I'm in this dark room, padded walls going nuts. As far as rap go, I been thinking about giving it up. Cause niggas try to hold me down, put me in the box Pin the gimmick little like they did the homie Pop My team flaked on me, niggas riding with the suckers Like everybody else, high socks with some chuckers I'm on that weed 10 bubble vest, body bag flow on every track I'm tempted to kill a motherfucker Yeah, I'm like work